Raw is live tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and... And me, Byron Saxton, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get Otunga. We couldn't get Coach. I, uh. I get it, guys. I get it. We love you, Byron. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Singles match on tap next. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have John Cena against Big Show. These superstars have waited for this moment for a while. Now, it's go time. This is going to be good. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! I say it all the time and I made it. The greatest of all time. John Cena, 16-time world champion. There is always a special buzz in the air when John Cena enters the arena. I believe the most polarizing superstar in WWE history. loyalty and respect a mantra he the big show has spent over a decade getting on John Cena's bad side that's mostly due to Big Show betraying Cena on many occasions. Well, Cena started it when he used a chain to knock out Big Show at WrestleMania in 2005, and their animosity has grown ever since. Byron, my friend, I am a sucker for a good betrayal, and Big Show is a master. My favorite's when he knocked out Cena at Survivor Series in 2014. Wouldn't you agree, Saxton? You dork, that's not my name. But I do think Cena has learned the lesson that the Big Show isn't the best backup in the WWE locker room. He has that chain to thank for it. Oh, what a crash. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. What a stomp. Good grief. Nailed it. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, man, what a leg drop. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Oh, what a strike. Right on the mark. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Uh -oh. The oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Shoulder tackle. Goes down hard. What began as ruthless aggression evolved quickly for John Cena. Whether the Newberry, Massachusetts native was the doctor of thugonomics, leader of the C Nation, or the face of the WWE, it comes down to hustle, loyalty, and respect. He's got a head of steam. See how long he can sustain it. Max Handel, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What a stomp. Good grief. There's a fisherman suplex. There's no retreat and no surrender. When it comes to John Cena competing inside that 20 by 20 foot ring, Cena's motto of never give up is a way of life for the WWE. This could do it. Harsh impact. And Big Show with a quick kick out. Too soon. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And there's the reversal from Big Show. Right to the back of the neck. He's making a statement here with this attack. 
I wonder if John Cena knew his career would change forever when he put on a rapper costume for SmackDown's Halloween party in 2002. But he showed he can spit rhymes and it worked to get the attention of his opponents. He's looking at it. That's the showstopper. Now that's how you make a statement. He goes for the cover. Byron brought up Cena's study of thugonomics. Even though he had early success showing ruthless aggression, Cena had hit a rough patch and was in real danger of getting lost in the fold before he discovered his affinity for rap. Maybe. That has got to be it. Digging deep for a kick out. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Big match John is not going to go down that easily. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. Look at this. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Nice kick out. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, ouch. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. This quickly. What is keeping this competitor going? Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. What a stop! Good grief! Drops him with a big shoulder tackle. What a strike! The big show is putting on a big show right now. He looks for it once again. Oh, my gosh. I don't stop anybody. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. Well, John Cena has the pride of a champion, and he always finds a way to dig deep. The weapon of mass destruction. That should do it. Even better the second time around. He's going for the pin. An incredible win for Big Show. And look who's here. Look who's here. Why not get the best seat in the house? The best view of what's going on. Ah, they're just, just disrespecting this young man, Corey. That's all this is about. Mind games, Cole. Look at these combustible elements. Triple Threat action is up next. The action comes at you in a hurry in a Triple Threat match, and this one should not be any different. off this triple threat match here. The unpredictability of a triple threat match Ouch. makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three can walk out of here the winner. So agile. Scissors applied. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. If 
you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Boom, what impact! He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant. He's got him covered. Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. Gonna take more than that. You gotta believe this one's over. Kick to the. make one mistake against Chad Gable, he'll capitalize on it in the blink of an eye. And that will probably include a few alpha plexes for good measure. Gut Buster! What a stop! Good grief! Ooh. Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. Drop kick hits the mark! Gable represents a new era in the competition that's taking over WWE in both singles and tag teams. I can't wait to see what Chad Gable does next, but I don't think his opponents will share my opinion. Chad Gable knows where he is in the ring at all times. Once the Olympian gets going with his unique brand of offense, it signifies the beginning of the end for his opponent. This might be it! Oh, my! I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Oh, what a kick! Gets out of the way of that one. Beautiful technique. Oh, man, I don't think Drew McIntyre liked that. Play drop! Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Oh, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which of course later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. We've seen this before, guys, and it's not good. I can tell you that. Before putting on the gold latex, the face paint, and the blonde wig, Goldust was known as Dustin Rhodes, the son of iconic WWE Hall of Famer, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. As Dustin, he was known as a great tag team. Kicks out in time. Well, I'm not surprised Gable kicked out there. That's what Olympians do. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Nasty attack to the neck. Goldust has the shoulders down early. Dustin Rhodes, Mackin. Oh, what a headbutt. Here's his chip. He might have it. Is he done? How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Surprised as you guys are. Things just went from bad to worse for Chad Gable. Shoulders on the mat. Oh my god, he's done it. He scored the win. Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. I remember this part very well. And this is how he ended it.
And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Lefkoe's on Raw! Little Miss Bliss! Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Mickey James, from Columbus, Ohio, the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss! Five feet of fury! She will break your heart, break your jaw, and you'll still find yourself stalking her social media pages. It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! And her opponent, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Myron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half to blame it. Alexa Bliss made history in 2017 when she had the first ever women's wrestling match in Abu Dhabi. And what's better is that Bliss beat that phony Sasha Banks to do it. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Drop down. Ooh, what an impact. Harsh impact. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Oh, nasty impact. Watch this. Oh, suplex. Bulldog. Beautiful technique. Oh, this is not good at all. The oh, continuing to punish them. You gotta believe this one's over. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, going right after the neck.
What a strike. Escapes trouble there. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Point of the elbow, nail it. Remember when Alexa Bliss made her debut in NXT? She was such a nice girl. She would throw glitter into the audience and looks like she wants to win early. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Legacy. All the way up and around the world. Oh, the old head scissor. Byron, going back in time to Alexa's NXT, she's clearly not getting paid by the hour. And there's the kick out by Alexa Bliss. Very nice. Look at her go. Watch out. Money pulls off. Now let's just hope Banks has enough stamina to pull through. Hey, Byron, just like a grunt. Oh, it's over. Quick cover by Sasha Banks. And Alexa Bliss gets out of the pinfall. Too soon. And Sasha with the backstab and flipping it over. Here it comes. Sasha with the bank statement. The bank statement. There it is. Oh. Nice back rotation suplex. She goes for the quick pin. Digging deep for a kick out. You have to put in a little more work than that. This might be it. Oh, my. Applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, it's going to break an arm. Oh, oh man. Gosh, why? Nailed it. She goes for the cover. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Woo. Look at this. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. She's got it now. But this could do it. Uh-oh. One, two. Digging deep for a kick out. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Ooh-wee! Boom, what impact! Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. I'll tell you what. Come on, this isn't fair. Life's not fair, Cole. Get over it. And she kicks out with relative ease. Not yet. Too early. Uh oh, gentlemen, it is turning into boss time. Just here we go for the win. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. Not yet. Wow, Sasha Banks gets the reversal. Hey, Byron, just like me. Bliss is out of it. Can she keep her down? Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Well, Alexa Bliss has the heart of a champion. We saw it on full display right here. 
And Sasha with a backstabber flipping her over. Here it comes. Sasha with a bank statement. The bank statement. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oof. Kick finds it. Is that enough for the win? Uh-oh, Sasha Banks is looking at it. Oh, he's nice. This might be it. Oh, my. Bliss is out of it, guys. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. Bringing it back into the ring. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. She counters before it's too late. And this could end it in a hurry. Sasha Banks looks like she's really struggling right now under the pressure. She's definitely starting to feel the pressure here, guys. I don't think I've ever seen a harsh impact. Bad news. This could do it. One, two. Real close. Too close for comfort. We're going to take more than that. Here comes Alexa Bliss. She better do something fast. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Let's just hope Banks has enough stamina to pull through. Hey, Byron, just let me run. This one is over. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. And this has got to be it. Two, three. Sasha Banks did it. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Remember this? Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here is your winner, Sasha Banks. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. It's not about how the world sees you. It's how you see yourself. And the B team sees themselves as the best. That explains a lot coming from you, Saxton. That explains a lot coming from you, Saxton. I think these two are ungrateful. And they should be embarrassed to show their faces after betraying the Miz who benefited them like no one else in their careers. Oh, stop being a jealous Judy.
Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. The Revival. No nonsense, no gimmicks, no flips, just fists. Two men who proudly carry collective chips on their shoulders and they've managed to use that, that bitterness to bring themselves to the big stage where it's their time to shine. Rough and tough as they come. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, Ooh. guys. That's how good they are. Dash Wilder is a master of getting things back on track and executing his plan to perfection. Well, that's definitely true, Byron. Dash has had difficulty during singles competition. But I attribute that to mediocre officiating by the referees. What a stomp. Good grief. they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combine their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Oh, nasty impact. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas' opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. Scott Dawson just too fast for him. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Beautiful technique. What a stop. Good grief. Dash Wilder tags in. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas' opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. Oh, and it's a reversal. Flying forearm. Dodges a bullet there. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Not the fall that hurts. It's a sudden stop at the end. We've got a cover. And Dash Wilder kicks out. Not yet. Oh. 
Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. He's got a boatload of energy. See if it lasts. And the instinct from Bo Dallas is a Bo Dazzler. But he's got to capitalize now. Bo Dallas just changed the momentum of this match. What is it that Bo Dallas is looking to do to change his look at this point? If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh! What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this match. Oh, what impact! Wilder looking in control here. Here's a cover. And look at this. Oh, what incredible power. They did it. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Man, this was great. Check him out here. He's getting after it here. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. here to start the show. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying. Monday Night Raw, welcome to Balor Club. Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! One of the most incredible athletes to ever set foot in Monday Night Raw. 
Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. Former NXT champion, the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen, is for real. A truly global superstar, a phenomenon amongst the WWE Universe. Finn Balor posted on social... Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. And his opponent from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, Zack Ryder. He's a broski. Like, like the three of us. No, Byron, I am not a broski. I have nowhere near the penchant for fake tanner and spiked hair as Zack Ryder does. Don't take away what Zack Ryder's accomplished here. Former United States champion, former tag team champion. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Nailed it. What grace! Float over and oh. <laughs> Drop kick with precision. Drop kick. Beautiful. So much has been said about Finn Balor being the first WWE Universal Champion, but the challenge he overcame to gain that opportunity shouldn't be overlooked. Yeah, a week after the 2016 draft, Finn Balor's debut ushered in what was called the new era of Monday Night Raw as he beat the odds in a fatal four-way match before going up. Submission time! Reflecting on oh, Finn Balor's main role. Great job breaking the hold there. Good thing, too. That could have been ugly, Michael. Nasty one right to the chest. Oh! oh. Elbow to the face. Guys, it's easy to say NXT is a pillar of WWE nowadays, but it would be difficult to imagine where it would be without the influence of Finn Balor. He was the face of NXT. NXT exploded into a phenomenon during Finn's reign as NXT champion. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. And Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. He's going to have to cut up. Here, here we, we go. go. Finn Balor with the cover. And there's the kick out. Too soon. Touching on Michael's point about Finn Balor's time in NXT, Finn's time wasn't only beneficial to NXT. The two years Balor spent at NXT made him the man he is today and the performer he is in the ring. Balor is the longest reigning NXT champion there's ever been. He was champion for 292 days. That means being in the main event of every show, every night of the week. He escapes trouble there. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. 
Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves, Corey. Unfortunately, woo, 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 I know it. Boom, broski boot. Here's his chance to win this. And here we go, Zack Ryder with a cover. And Finn Balor gets out of the pin. Oh. Yeah, it's just too early. Too early in the match to end it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Ooh, what impact. What do you think Zack Ryder needs to do to get back into this battle? I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. He's got the shoulders down. Not enough to end this one. Not yet. And Finn Balor is really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. His outlook is not good at all. He better be careful. It looks to me like he's one big move away from losing this match. Harsh impact. Here's the cover. One. And Zack Ryder easily getting the shoulder up. Too yeah. soon. Zack Ryder turns it around. Oh no, what a scary drop. This may very well be it. And he got a near fall out of it, wow. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Ah, stop in the leg! Just nasty. Apparently, he can summon this kind of energy at will. The shoulders are down. And an ear fall. What a match. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. You gotta believe this one's over! And there's the reversal from Zack Ryder. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. If I was Zack Ryder, and thank God I'm not, I'd make sure I didn't get carried away here. Oh, straight forearm. With a face buster. When this guy's on, look out. Neck breaker. That could be it. Five. Bringing it back into the ring. Boom. <laughs> and there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Ooh. Beautiful technique.
There he goes, crashing to the floor. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. Tough spot to be in right now for Zack Ryder. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. I'm not sure he has much left. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. to the face. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Rough landing. Putting it all on the line. Here he goes. 450. Yet again, Zack Ryder proves that you can never count him out. Yeah, that move amazes me every time. Zack Ryder looked impressive tonight. And look who's here. Look who's here. Why not get the best seat in the house? The best view of what's going on. Oh, they're just, just disrespecting this young man, Corey. That's all this is about. Mind games, Cole. We thought we might hear from him tonight. And here it comes. Let's see what he has to say. Somebody needs to count the 10. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. Not feeling the love for that superstar. Pride comes before the fall. Better watch it.
better not take anything for granted in this business. That's all I'm going to say. Confused. As far as production values and message, I'm not sure what to make of that. Not exactly world shattering, but. The time has come for the main event. Tag team match on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. Message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can stop me, try. Man, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good. But there's one guarantee whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion within the WWE Universe. It's all about...
Strowman's an absolute force of nature. Terrifyingly powerful. Fighter. Some call him the pride of Quebec, Canada, but he doesn't care what you call him as long as you end with Sir. Here's Kevin Owens. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. And set up, boom, what impact! Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Hell in a Cell was a memorable night due to one of the most unforeseen actions in WWE's recent history. You would think, Michael, that Shane McMahon leaping off Hell in a Cell with Kevin Owens as his target would be the landmark moment we would be talking about. But it was Sami Zayn's sudden rescue of Owens that became the water cooler conversation. Shoulder tackle! On the topic of Sami Zayn's miraculous rescue, allow me to properly paint the picture. Kevin Owens saw that white light. His soul separated from his body and he ascended to the pearly white gates and as he stood there, St. Peter himself said, Earth still needs you. Then Kevin was provided with a guardian angel in the form of Sami Zayn. Oh, brother. Exaggerate much? Double axe handle smash. Guys, we have all seen how dangerous Kevin Owens can be when he snaps. It doesn't matter if you're a friend or the CEO of WWE. Owens gets a sadistic look in his eyes that says he no longer cares about human life anymore. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, man, right to the neck. Bringing up the sadistic side of Kevin Owens, Michael, reminds me of the time he viciously attacked his boss, Mr. McMahon. It appeared as if Owens fell into a some sort of trance that night. Yeah, but some may say Mr. McMahon was asking for it. But regardless, it was a callous display by Kevin Owens. A headbutt heard around the world that served its purpose as a message to the McMahon family. Oh, what impact. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the stack. Uh-oh. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Oh, man. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Roman Reigns gets the tag. Handle finds its target. Where can Kevin Owens find an edge to turn things around Yikes. right now? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to swindle. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. 
especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. Oh, nasty impact. He's got him on his heels and shows okay. no signs of letting up. What does Sami Zayn have to do at this point to stay in this match? This tag team match is dangerously... Superman punch! Victory is on the horizon. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. A kick out. This one's not over yet. So resourceful. He gets it with a reversal. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Oh, and a boot to the face! Roman Reigns looking a bit on the oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. There it is. Come on, his shoulders are down. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Not yet. There's the switch. Braun Strowman is in. Axe handle finds the mark. Kevin Owens is in trouble and hurt right now. It just doesn't seem to be his night tonight, guys. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him. Oh, right across the knee. But does KO have enough gas left in the tank to capitalize? One, two, digging deep for a kick out. Nice kick out. Between the shoulder blades. This might be it. Oh, my. Tag is made. What could they have in mind? Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, package pile driver. Suplex. But does KO have enough gas? He could do it here. He kicks out before three. Wow. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Oh, nasty impact. Quietly, no superstar worth his salt ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. It's obvious Zane is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Guys, you can tell he's drained, but I guarantee you that won't stop him from doing everything he can to win this thing. Beautiful technique. And tag in is Kevin Owens. Oh, my. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Best not to get in a taunting match with Reigns, because you'll lose. A striking blow. Oh, boy, he is rolling. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. What a crap! <laughs> Strowman! This is not going to be good at all! Oh, Braun 
Roman slamming into the mat. Game, set, match. This one is over. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Sami Zayn tags in. Big backdrop. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Boom, what impact. Tag is made. What could they have in mind? Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, package pile driver. Incredible impact. I don't remember the last time I he could pin his opponent right here. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Oh, close line. Chaos. Melee. Pandemonium. Kevin Owens. Pump handle applied. Oh, oh, God. Man, right on the back of the neck. I don't remember the last time I saw Stro Cover here. Two. Oh, that was a close call. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? Oh, Strowman dodged that one. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. That's gonna hurt. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Kevin Owens setting it up. Cover here. One, two, three. And that's it. This one is over. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't believe this. He's getting it done here. Man, oh man, look at that. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here are your winners, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And there's your winner via pinfall. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow, they really impressed me out. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.